all started when Professor Plunkett told us that our fashion design class won a trip to the Palace of Versailles in France. But we also found out that we were going to get to stay at the chateau itself. Cool, right? But we barely got to enjoy it. Jerry sent us on a mission to investigate a break-in at a secret vault in Paris. And it didn't take us long to discover that someone had stolen a special key from the vault. But that's only the beginning of the weirdness. When we went back to Versailles, we were attacked by some freaky creature that knocked us off the side of the building. Rude much? <laughs> we better think of something fast, girls! <laughs> hey, what about the hedge and hurry seedlings? Maybe they can help! <laughs> Was a close one. Huh? He's gone! I guess whatever fly swatted us off the roof must have taken him! Terrific! And we've got no leads to go on. Hmm. Mandy? Mandy, are you okay? Mm. Oh? Sam, Clover, Alex, you girls had me worried. Why didn't you show up for dinner? <laughs> and where did you get those fabulous outfits? Um, <laughs> we bought them at the gift shop. Enough chat out, handmaidens. Where is my royal servant, Trent? Did you just say handmaidens in a French accent? And since when is Trent your royal servant? I thought he was your intern. How dare you question me? And why aren't you people doing any work? As in, stop standing around and stop tending to my palace! Now! Um, your <laughs> palace? Duh! Who else's palace would it be? I am Marie Antoinette. What? <laughs> um, I'm no doctor. But I'd say that something definitely isn't right with Mandy. Hmm. Ah! My personal valet is here! Bring me a new dress immediately! This one has filthy glass stains on it! My apologies, Mr. August. It seems that for some reason Mandy thinks that she's Marie Antoinette. Oh, how interesting. Well, who hasn't wanted to be Marie Antoinette at one time or another? Right? Guilty as charged. <laughs> but we have other pressing issues. We're still missing some students. Three, to be exact. Not to worry. You take care of Mandy, and I'll look for the missing students myself. After all, no one knows Versailles like <gasps> I do. Please! I am sure I know my own chateau better than the hired help does. Okay, come with me, Mandy. Mm. I mean... Your Highness. <laughs> there you go. Looks like you took quite a nasty bump to the head. Nonsense! Your queen is just fine! You! Fell down my wig! You! Polish my crown! And you! Fetch me a turkey leg! Turkey leg? I don't even think they have turkey legs around here. Then let me eat cake! This is totally out of hand. Yeah, maybe we should touch base with Jerry. Good idea. Hopefully, Jerry isn't living it up on the town in Paris. Bonsoir, spies. <gasps> Just wanted to let you know that I analyzed the dusty key outline you sent me earlier. And after searching the Whoop Key database, I've determined that the key that was stolen is actually linked to Versailles. How can you possibly know that, Jer? King Louis XVI was a locksmith enthusiast and saw to it all locks at Versailles have the same signature key shape. <sighs> I wonder what it's a key to and if it has anything to do with our missing classmates. Missing classmates? What missing classmates? <laughs> what was that? I don't know, but we better check it out. <gasps> hey, where'd everybody go? Beats me. But it's not the first time Mandy's cleared a room. Huh? <laughs> Look! Something's dragging Mandy away! You got off your I am the queen of it! Come on, girls! Some 
except for the part where we're losing the footprints. Okay, remember how well the heat sensor 6000 infrared motion detector sunglasses worked for Clover at the vault? I say we take them for another spin. They went in that direction. But then they just disappeared. Anyone else thinking what I'm thinking? That we're dealing with a scary ghosty villain of some kind? No, that we're dealing with a secret passage. As in there must be one around here somewhere. Oh, I'm great at finding secret passages. Mm -hmm. Let me just figure this out now. Done, Alex! Yeah! Way to go! Oh, like I said before, it's what I do. Whoa! What is this place? We must be in one of those hidden tunnels I was telling you guys about earlier. Way to keep up on your history, Sammy! Yeah! You totally get a gold star in First Eye 101. And look at all the water running down the walls. We must be underneath the lake. <gasps> hey, check oh. out the ground. The footprints are back. Which means whatever we're chasing must be close by. <gasps> huh? Something tells me it's closer than we think. Ah! Oh, no. <laughs> that Mr. August is the king of nasty. What in the whooping world is going on here? Uh, Sam, Clover, Alex, you found us. Yeah, and it looks like you're having a secret craft party that we weren't invited to. No fair. I'll explain everything later. Right now, you have to free us all before he comes back with his evil statues. Huh? huh? Before who comes back? <gasps> No! Uh oh! Before I come back, of course, the future king of the world! Huh? <gasps> Mr. Agoose, did you hit your head like Mandy? Lay it on us. What bizarro scheme have you cooked up in your creepy dungeon? Why, there's nothing bizarro about my plan at all. After years of working at this glorious palace, I simply decided that it just wasn't the same without a king to rule it. And so, I plan on giving it one. With a little help from my animatronic friends, I learned about the palace's secret creatures in a tome I discovered in the Chateau's library. 
and the ones are located in Quito at the VTM in the secret vault at the Palais de Luxembourg. I wasted no time in bringing them to life. And now that they've helped me take over Versailles, I'll waste no time in taking my creatures global so I can rule the entire world. Okay, so you're on a major power trip, but what does it have to do with us? You, along with your teacher and classmates, will be my court. <gasps> After all, every king needs one. Wait a sec. Does this mean we didn't win a contest? Of course not. I made that up to fool Professor Plunkett into bringing you here. After I saw your 18th century fashion designs, I knew you'd be the perfect choice. I've heard of fashion crimes before, but this one takes the cake. Cheer up, Blanket. Do you want to be seeing a fashion show? In a few moments, it would be time for my spectacular coronation, and you'll all be a part of it, as will my queen. Really? You got that right. I'm going to be uh, coronating all over this place. Mandy, you may be the queen, but remember, I'm the king. That name's Mary! And whatever! Let's get this show on the road! <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I need to make certain that everything is ready for my big debut. <laughs> It's official. Worst vacation ever. Come on, girls. We need to get out of here and dethrone that wannabe king before it's too late. Greetings, everyone, and thank you for coming. I guarantee this show will be unlike anything you've ever seen before. Oh. Oh. Ah, the big moment is upon us. About time! My cult awaits! Ah! Everyone's attention. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to present to you me, the new king of not only Versailles, but of the entire world. <laughs> Yes, and uh, Mandy. Oh! Uh, Marie Antoinette, my new queen. <laughs> What's with this crowd? Why are they not bowing and giving me the blindly obedient praise I so richly deserve? Cream might help us. <laughs> the game is over, Mr. Agoost. Clearly, no one is interested in your scheme to crown yourself. It really doesn't matter. Because kings don't rule by public opinion, <gasps> they rule by other means.
Rise, this is no time to be swimming. I think the statues of Versailles might be coming to life. Jerry, look out! Ah! File that info under way ahead of you, Jer. of defeating them. who are jealous of the king's reign, but I have one more trick up my royal sleeve. And some mad fashion skills. Put yourselves down for three A pluses for the semester. Yeah! No! My army of statues! My throne! The only statue you need to worry about is the Statue of Justice. Hey! Get your gloomy hands off of my king! <laughs> She's back to just her normal, annoying self. Well, that's a relief. Mandy was already the queen of mean. That's enough royalty for one girl. Congratulations on another job well done, Spies. No props, Jer. Even if it did totally ruin our vacay, I'm just happy to see the chateau returning to its original splendor. Indeed. And speaking of things returning to their former state, Professor Plunkett, as well as your classmates, will be not only returned to Mali Yu, but also made to forget everything they've seen regarding Mr. Auguste, his statues, and your secret identity. So you mean they'll only be left with good memories of Versailles? Awesome! Darn! That means Professor Plunkett will also forget about the A pluses he promised us. So, now that our mission is officially over, Jerry, you're gonna give us the time off we so clearly deserve, right? Of course after you complete the next assignment I have for you. Another assignment? As if! Trust me, girls, it's a mission that you'll actually like. Unless, of course, you don't think sitting front row at a Parisian fashion show sounds enjoyable. Huh? Oh, no! 